Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews. Uh, we did the uh, triple yesterday, and I thought this was a quad, but it's a, a dubel or a double. Uh, so uh, hopefully it's going to be as tasty as a triple. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out what this spring. I thought it was a quad, I'll be honest with you. I thought it was a bigger beer. Maybe I should have done this one before the triple. Uh, but, yeah, shit happens. <laughs> So we'll see what this brings. Uh, this one does have the date on there, which is their best by 12, 6, or 16, and the day is the 17th of January 17th. So technically it's about a month past when they say you should have it by. But it doesn't say anything about it being hoppy or anything like that. So that's why I want to see a bottle on that, guys. Uh, let, tell me when you put it in the bottle, and I'll make the decision when I think I should have it by. So... And this is a 7.2 percenter, I believe. Uh, yes, that's what it's got written here on the bottle. So, I'm hoping it's going to be just as tasty as the triple was yesterday because everything I've had up to then was pretty mediocre. Uh, it's not something I would buy. The triple was very tasty. I would buy that beer. So, I'm hoping this is going to be just as good. And I'm going to tell you what I think straight up, guys. If it's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be or, or what the other ones were, I'm going to tell you that, whether I would buy it or not. And if it's just as tasty as the triple, I'm going to tell you that too. No matter what the ratings of Beer Advocate or Rate Beer or Untapped says, I'm going to tell you straight up what I think. This, this is my beer reviews and whether I agree with these guys or disagree, I'm going to tell you straight up what I think. So, uh, he did send me a little note here. It's come from Rico because uh, I can't buy these beers here. He picked it up. Uh, says it has nine IBUs on this, so very low IBUs on this, and he said it was a dollar ninety nine for for a single, which is a decent price for a seven point two percenter, and it was ten dollars nine ninety nine for a six pack, so they're doing these in a six pack of where the triple was a four pack, so, all right, let's get on with this, because I don't know what to expect from these guys. Some of their stuff is pretty meh, and uh, like I said, the triple impressed impress me. So hopefully this will impress me too. I'm hoping so. I hope it's not a bad beer or a mediocre beer. Commercial description on this one it says winner of silver medal at the 2008 GABF. This Belgian style Abbey Dubel is an exceptionally complex beer with many interwoven flavors. This classic style Abbey beer features an immense head with a fruity nose and a generous body, malty in the middle, the beer features a clean almond, dry almondy dry finish, and slight alcohol warmth. Eh, shouldn't be too much warmth there for 7.2 percent. More like a wine than a beer. It has a lot of the qualities of a uh, fine burgundy. It says here. It also says here. Beer writer Michael Jackson, and ain't the, the pop singer, this is the beer guy, and he just passed away here a couple of years ago, uh, and he was super uh, big on doing, writing books and, and, and tasting beers, and just like me, he gave his honest opinion of what he thought about the beer and everything, and uh, uh, he says here, Michael Jackson has praised the Flying Fish Dubell as a wonderful example of the style. So maybe it, it may be pretty good. It says here the malts are two road pale Munich special B chocolate malt, uh, Demira 
and Jamera sugar. Hops are Styrian and Goldings, which are the European style hops, more of a floral, herbal, flowery type of hop, uh, not like a Pacific Northwest or an American hop. These are uh, more earthy, herbal, floral type hop. And uh, the yeast are Belgian Abbey Ale. I did enjoy the, uh, the yeast on the triple that they had done. It was very nice. So hopefully this will be just as tasty. And while I get the cap off of this puppy and get it in the glass, I will tell you, it says here the food pairings, the cheeses are buddy, green good, Havarti, Swiss, uh, Gorgonzola Lumberger, and it says here it goes well with chocolate dishes, and the meat is beef. Flashware is the goblet or chalice. I'm using my favorite tulip glass here today again, guys. My favorite glass, guys. Y'all see me use this over and over and over and over. This is the best glass that I own. Rico told me he has two of these. And Rico sent me this beer, so thanks my brother. I do appreciate it. And this beer uh, uh, says it can be sold for long periods of time. But they want you to have it by December. So I don't know when they put this in the bottle. They put it in there in February or March of last year or June. I don't know what shelf life these guys are giving us. Why well, we want the bottle on date. Not some silly ass best buy, used by, enjoyed by. Those dates suck. So... It didn't pour very much head. It is a nice mahogany ruby color. Looks very nice. And the glass here, like I said, basically no head. There's none up here. Just a slight ring around the outside of the glass. Let's get another one. I am getting a little bit of the Belgian yeast. The triple was a little stronger on the yeast notes. But I am getting a little bit of it. Maybe some hints of some dark fruit in there, some brown sugar, molasses. It's got a decent nose, nothing outstanding, so let's put the lips to it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Dark fruit, a nice sweetness to it with only nine IBUs. Kind of got a, a sugary molasses brown sugar back in. Not like a barley wine, a little more subdued than that. This one is not quite as impressive as the triple is, or was. It's not a bad beer. It's very easy drinking. I will say that. It may be an entry level uh, Dubail uh, for somebody that's never had one. Uh, that's not going to get a whole lot of that Belgian yeast uh, off putting if they've never had one with that kind of yeast. Uh, or uh, a big ABV, ABV beer uh, like the Triple was. Uh, the 7.2 percent, uh, kind of easy drinking. The alcohol is very well hidden. I'm not getting any of that, but it seems to be a little watered down to me. Seems to be decent. I don't think it's quite to the outstanding range. Uh, we're gonna let it warm up before I say anything else about it, but. It, I don't think this is going to end up in the A category. But let's let it warm up and let her have a sip or two or three and uh, see where she does end up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sitting on about 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, I'm not as impressed with this one as I was with the triple. It is a well-made beer. The alcohol is very well hidden. Uh, but my biggest problem is uh, they're using these best buy, enjoy buy, used by dates. And we don't know how old the beer is. It's only a 7.2 percenter. It's not hot forward or anything like that, but I want to know when this freaking beer was put in the bottle. I want to drink it kind of fresh. It's not a 9 or a 10 or 11 percent beer that's going to keep for 15, 20 years. It's a 7.2 percent. Uh, this may be a little tastier the month it was put in the bottle than it is right now, but it is a, a decent beer. Uh, the last two that I've had from them has been above average. The ones I've had before now have not been. I would not buy them again. The triple, I would buy. This one, 
uh, if I couldn't get anything else, I might buy this beer if it was available here. To me, guys, uh, straight up, I'm going to tell you, I don't think it's an A beer. Now this warmed up a little bit. The Belgian notes are a little bit more present. Very easy drinking, not bitter whatsoever. A little bit of dark fruit in there. I don't know if I'll go to the point say it goes well with a chocolate dish or not, but decent beer. It's a, it's a decent beer. Like I said, I don't think it's an A beer. Final chug. And this one, I'm going to probably go against the grade a little bit, too. I think it's a little better than an average beer. I think it's a B beer. That's what I'm going to give it, right down the middle of the B road. It, they did put a date on it, but it's that best buy, joy buy, used by date. I'm not a fan of that. But they did make the attempt. But I don't know what they're, they're giving their shelf life on, these, on this style of beer. <laughs> they could be giving it a three, four, five, six months, or even longer. That's what I want to know. Did you put this beer in a bottle in January of 2016? April? July? When was the beer put in the freaking bottle? That's what I want to know. Not when you think I should have it by. If you want to put both on there, that's fine. That's what Weyerbacher does. They tell you when it was put in a the bottle, they tell you when they think you should have it by. That'd be great. That way you know how old the beer is. And when they want you to have it or what they're giving the shelf life of the beer. I have no idea what the shelf life is on this or what they're giving it being a 7.2%. So, B, 85 for me. And like I said, I'm probably giving it a better grade than it probably deserves on this one. Uh, but I've been kind of harsh on these guys up till yesterday's and today's beer. Uh, I've had better. I'll put it that way, but I've had worse. So, Let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 81. So I'm giving it a better grade than these guys are. I'm giving it an 85. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 70 overall and 77 in the style. I'm giving it a much better grade than those guys are. And for our final check-in, we'll run over to Untapped. They have it at 3.61, which is a B, B number to me from those guys. And that's where I'm putting it. It's a B beer, guys. It's that's where I would. Not sure I would buy this beer if that was available here to me. The triple, I would. The double, I wish I knew how old the beer was, guys. I really do. I wish I would put a bottle on date instead of this used buy or best buy date. That sucks. I don't know if they had a bottled on date and it was bottled in. December of 2016 and they want me to have it by January or whatever if I knew the beer was a month old I could give it a more accurate grade on what I think it is but if this beer has been in the bottle for a year already I don't have any idea and a lot of these breweries do on this type of beer they'll give it a year shelf life or longer so uh, we'd like to know that instead of having this uh, Best Buy Enjoy by date not a fan. Not a fan! So if you've had this one from uh, Flying Fish Brewery, their Abbey Dubell or Double, let me know what you think. Hey, it was okay. It was okay. Come on back tomorrow. Let's stick something out of the fridge. See you then.